everyone, I'm Amber and today we're going to look at adding 100 and 1000 to a number. I'm going to use place value counters to help me, then I'm going to show you by drawing pictures. I have used place value counters to make the number 7236. I've used 7000 for the 7000, 200 for the 200, 3 tens for the 30 and 6 ones for the 6. First I'm going to look at adding 100 to a number. If I add 100 to this number I only need to look at the 100 column as the 1000s, 10s and 1s won't change. To add 100 I need to add another 100 counter. So my number now is 7336. We can also draw a picture to help us understand this. I have drawn out the counters showing the number 7236. To add 100 I need to draw another 100 counter. Which makes my number 7336. Then to add 1000, I'm going to draw another 1000 counter. Which makes my number 8336. This time we're going to look at why sometimes when we add 100 to a number, the thousands also change. My number here is 5,923. If I add 100 to the hundreds column, we now have 10 100s. We can't have 10 counters in the hundreds column, so I'm going to exchange my 10 hundreds for a thousand counter. We now have 6,000s. Zero one hundred. So five thousand nine hundred and twenty three add one hundred equals six thousand twenty three. We can also represent this as a picture. I have drawn out the counters for the number five thousand nine hundred and twenty three. If I add one hundred, I now have ten hundreds. I need to rub out the ten hundreds. and exchange it for 1,000. I now have 6,023. I hope you found that useful. If you did, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. I'll be uploading a video with something new every week. See you soon. Bye.